When it's come to bike security, generally there is only ignition lock switch and it can be easily hacked by the thief. In this video, I'm going to make alternate RFID key for bike security. Let's make it. One thing before starting the video, if you are new to my channel, click this red subscribe button so you will never miss any updates. This is RFID reader module, a very important component in this project. We also need an Arduino Nano, a 12 volt relay, 705 voltage regulator IC, a capacitor, LED, diode and some resistors and some connectors also. First I make a rough circuit on paper. Later I make a proper schematic using Protoss and design a suitable circuit board for it. If you don't have any idea about PCB designing, watch my previous video on the subject. You will find a link in description for that. After designing the board, I export this PCB to the Gerber file. To order my PCB, I upload this Gerber file to the PCBO.com, who also the sponsor of this video. You will get 10 awesome quality PCBs for just $5. And if you are placing your first order on PCB way, then it's almost free for you. Just grab this offer. After waiting for a few days, I received my PCBs. They use high quality material for PCB fabrication and deliver high quality well finished PCBs. Overall great service by the PCB way. Placing all components in their respective places. After placing all components, solder them carefully and cut all extra leads of each component. After soldering, the assembled board looks nice. I using 8 core ribbon cable to extend RFID module spin out. For that, I soldering the first end of the cable with male header pins and solder another end of it with the module itself. So that now I can easily connect the RFID module with the main circuit board. Now it's time to program it. Connect Arduino Nano to the PC using USB cable. Extract the zip file. It will create a folder by the same name as the zip has. Open that folder and you will see 3 files is there. Now keep one thing in mind. First we have to register an RFID tag as a valid key. For that we need to find out the UID of that card which we are going to use as the key. To find out UID, open the code by name read RFID card. Select COM port and board type and upload the program to the Arduino Nano. Now open the serial monitor. As you open it, you will see the status of the module whether it is connected or not. Now simply put your card on reader module. You will see some information print on the serial monitor. Just copy the UID from this information. After copying UID, close the serial monitor. Now open another code by name RFID key for buy. And paste here that UID copied from the serial monitor like this way. And now upload this program to the Arduino Nano. Download link for the source code and circuit diagram is given in the video description below. Using some hot glue and insulting foam, I stick this RFID module on the Arduino Nano. Soldering red wire for the positive 12 volt power supply and black wire for the negative supply. Connect a pair of wires in the output terminal of the relay. These two wires are going to connect in series with the ignition key of the bike. I using this old plastic box to secure this old circuit assembly. Put all things in a proper way so that it can be easily fit inside of the enclosure box and close it. Now let's go outside and connect it with the bike. I trying this circuit with my Hero Honda CD Deluxe. Unscrewing two screws with the help of screwdriver and third one by the spanner, I open the headlight cover. You see lots of wires here, but don't worry. You just need to find out a two wire harness which comes out from the bottom of the ignition key. Yes, here it is. I removed it and cut one wire from this. I remove insulation on the both ends of the wire and connect them with the yellow wires coming out from the modified key unit and secure this joint with the heatsink cable tube. Doing the same with the second wire comes from the key unit. In this way, I connected this key unit in series with ignition lock switch. It's just a demonstration, so I fixing this box on fuel meter by using some foam tape. You can put it in a more secure place. Laying supply wire to the battery box of the bike in such a way so that they will not create any hurdles in regular use of bike. 
Now connect the red wire to the positive terminal of the battery and black wire to the negative terminal of it. Putting back all covers on their places and all set. Let's test it. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this video useful. If yes, like it, share it, comment down your doubts, and for more such videos, do subscribe to the channel.